Okay, so this is just a little video on um, how I clean my rifles. Um, you know, some other people may find uh, a better or a, a better method or a method that they prefer more. Um, but uh, as I say, this is uh, pretty dirty now. I went out the other night and um, did a bit of uh, bunny bashing. Um, and uh, yeah, now it now needs a bit of a clean. Um, what I've done first of all is obviously taken the bolt and the magazine out make sure it's all nice and clear in there um, and unscrewed the, um, the moderator for all um, some people prefer not to clean these um, but I do and I'll um, just look, give you a little run through on how I like to clean that a bit later um, as you might notice there's a slightly uh, different um, viewpoint here we've got um, hands in the view um, actually just uh, wearing the old weight pan uh, around my chest at the moment seems to work quite nicely um, we'll basically kind of uh, run through stuff you need. Um, first of all, is obviously a um, a good rod with a little with a screw tip and nice rotating handle. You need obviously need the rotating handle because the um, depending on the twist in the barrel, you may end up um, if the the handle didn't rotate and the rod couldn't rotate independently to the handle, um, you could end up unscrewing the uh, the jag or the brush in the ball and then you'd be pretty snookered. Um, so you want the rods, you want some um, patch material, this is uh, Napier Rifle Clean, it's like a lint free um, cloth, comes in a roll. Um, you want some co some uh, bore solvent, this is uh, like I say Pro Shop Copper Solvent 4, works pretty well. Um, like I say, yeah, it seems to keep my rifle nice and accurate. Uh, you want a can of oil, there's not much left in there actually. but um, I say Park Hale Express gun oil. This is uh, quite common in quite a lot of gun shops. Um, it's good light light oil. Um, you know, and it seems to seems to work well. Um, you don't really need an awful lot of that at all. Uh, you put too much on, it'll run. Um, and you want some cotton buds for Q-tips. Don't uh, you can for some manufacturer. I think it's Otis come out with um, some proper gun cleaning. Um, Cotton buds are a bit of waste of time, really, because you know they cost probably a huge amount more, and you know these work just as well. Um, oh, and just an oily cloth. This one I've had for a, quite a, for a number of years now, and um, it's you know smelling of oil. It's completely um, oiled up. You know. um, and oh, and some um, brushes. Um, I use a brush as a jag as well. This one on the left is um, is much older than the one on the right, as you might see. It's a little bit it's smaller, and it's got all this lint and, and other crap sort of built up in between the in between the brushes. Um, this one on the right, I tend to use for um, actually as a brush, you know, for loosening up powder residue and things. And this one I use as a jag. Um, I think it's Tetra Gun Cleaning Products have um, produced a 17 caliber um, bullet type jag which um, I'd be quite interested to get and see how that works. Um, I did have a, a loop jag somewhere, which is complete rubbish. Um, you know, you can't get di uh, a good amount of, um, you know, uh, patch cleaning material on. It's difficult to get the right size. It's very easy to go too much and, you know, get it stuck or get it too under and, you know, not clean, not um, cleaning at all. So. This is quite a good way I found because the so the bristles are slightly springy and they'll push the um, the patch out into the bore. Um, if you've got a, a slightly bigger rifle, you know the the um, the jags are more widely available and it's you know um, you've got more leeway between too much and too little. Then yeah, go with the the bullet jag or um, I would not recommend the loop type jag at all. Um, so yeah, bullet jag something would be worthwhile looking at. So. As you can see, I've taken the, the bolt and the magazine out, um, and I've already, like I say, I've already unscrewed the moderator. So the first job you want to do is basically just to attach your brush to the end of your um, rod, and just run that through maybe two or three times with um, a little bit of solvent on the on the brush on the on the bristles. Unscrew that and stick your um, jag on. Um, again, how I do this, I'll take my rifle clean, just shake a little bit out, and cut maybe a 
what's that? Two inch section off or something like that. Um, and because it has grain that kind of runs up and down, um, it's quite easy to kind of pull apart that way. You know, it sort of stretches, but it's much more resilient along its length. So what I like to do is just slice that into one. Four pieces, because um, that gives a, you know, if your brush, if your the, the brush you're using as a jag is new, you you'll want to do, um, you know, slightly fewer pieces so they don't overlap. Um, but first thing you will notice, actually, sorry, going back on myself, when you push this through the ball um, when it's dirty, it will feel extremely tight. Um, that's you know, that's not not anything to be concerned about. But whatever you do, don't chicken out and try and pull it back. Um, because obviously those bristles are sticking out, if they they fold, they will fold in um, as they go through the bore. And if you try and pull it backwards, they'll stick, and then you know they'll they'll get a lot wider, and you'll end up you know getting this uh, getting these um, getting the the, the the brush stuck in the bore, and you you'll, you'll have to push it all the way through. You, there's no way you can pull it back again. Um, at least not with a a brush of this size, um, because the bristles are so stiff. Perhaps with something bigger, you know, you can, but I haven't experienced that. Um, but yeah, with these strips, what you want to do is what, what I do is just take the the patch, trap it on the end of the brush, and just twiddle it round. Sorry, this is off camera. Uh, makes it easier. Um, so basically, you wrap the brush in the patch material. Um, and if you like, you can just um, run that through dry, but it, it does have a little bit of resistance if it's dry. So I'd recommend getting a uh, cotton bud, um, dipping that in your um, your solvent, and just kind of rolling it down the brush. And, you know, give it a turn to rotate. You know, rotate the brush as you're as you're applying the solvent to the patch. Um, run that through once, and it will be you know black as the ace of spades. And then you just want to discard the um, the patch then wrap a new one on do that two or three times with some solvent then go through once without solvent um, and then go run the brush through twice then I run um, a patch with solvent through another patch with solvent through a patch without um, then a patch with then I'll run the brush through twice and basically re repeat that so you're you're alternating between um, wet and dry patches um, and you ideally you want to be running the the brush through um, when it's wet um, and once you start once it starts going from black to gray um, then you know you're, you're cleaning all of the, the dirt out of the bore um, and once it starts to get clean what I'd, what I'd advise doing is just run that patch through um, until it comes out clean you know run a wet patch in like a, a real soaked up patch with solvent on it um, and just leave it for you know ten minutes, five, ten minutes, whatever, just for the um, the, the powder, the, sorry, the um, the solvent to eat away at the, the residue that's kind of stuck in the um, in the in between the uh, the grooves, um, and just kind of uh, eat its way in there. So you you really are cleaning right down deep in the bore. Um, and just while while that's happening, you can just you can clean the bolt. Um, now this is obviously slightly different to most rifle bolts, uh, being a it's um, one of these slightly sort of two two piece designs. I don't um, actually bother really taking that apart at all, but um, again with a clean cotton bud and a little bit of oil, just kind of you know clean up up and down in all the the grooves um, back here, you know in the bolt faces again as well. You just want to clean around there down the little um, sort of gas escape um, choke route if you like. Um, just you know down in here around um, and then once you're cleaned in there and the, the, you know the, the cotton bud staying nice and clean just get your um, your oily rag give it a bit of a wipe over um, and just put it put it aside for, for a bit um, until you're ready to assemble it um, again same thing with the magazine just just take your oily rag wipe it over um, and, uh, and leave it 